Hello everyone, this is Artosis, and I am going to be making some strategical VODs just to give people a little bit of insight into how a high-level player thinks. Uh, first off, you will notice that I have the health bars on. Um, you know, I was playing for a long time without the health bars, but just the fact that you can see the energy on a unit, as well as micro instantly instead of having to press alt, kind of uh, sold me on switching over, so that's something I suggest to all players wanting to improve. So anyways, this was played on the Asian server at the highest diamond ranks. Uh, this is Kulas Ravine, I am Zerg over here, and I am against uh, Golm over here. I don't know who he is, just a, a Protoss player. And uh, well, Kulas Ravine is actually a really, really hard map for Zerg. As I'm sure everyone knows already, you have a lot of issues, especially with this area. Protoss can get up here pretty quickly, either through a uh, warp prism or just breaking this down. And you can't really attack them through the choke because of force fields. They can hit you with uh, stalkers on the high grounds so that you can't mine. It gets it gets pretty difficult. I mean, there's these back routes. These aren't really used nowadays. But the other big thing is that it takes a long time to scout your opponent here. And Zealot Rushes can come pretty quickly. It's by land, it's not that far to each base. You see he's opening up with two gateway. And this is truly the best opening for Protoss right now against Zerg. Pretty much every single map, almost every map, almost every position, Protoss should be going for a two gateway opening. Uh, it, it really forces Zerg to play a lot slower towards their expansion. And, in fact, there's some funny balance issues with two gateway into a Colossus timing push, but I'll get into that stuff later. Anyways, this is the new build I'm using in Zerg vs. Protoss because two gateway is just always, always used. Uh, you can't really go pool hatchery very easily. You kind of have to delay it a little bit, and I do that by getting speed. Speed's going to allow me to punish players who, you know, get a little bit too crazy with their zealots. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I just, I like the build a lot. It just gives you a really weaker economy in the mid-game. So mid-game timing pushes become literally twice as hard to stop. But you can stop the two gateway rush and then expand right afterwards with, you know, a decent economy for the early game. So, see, so you, you clean up that probe very quickly here. Anyways, you get exactly 100 gas and start upgrading the speed. And I normally don't get too, too many Zerglings, but you notice that I scouted this way, which, by the way, is awesome. Scout across with your Overlords. Uh, if you scout with your Signal Overlord this way, you can get caught by a Stalker or a Marine or whatever. I love to scout in this direction. But anyways, it sees the two gateways. I realize I need to make a lot of Zerglings to stop it, as you see more Zerglings being made. And, uh, you know, what you want is for Zerg for Protoss to overcommit these Zealots. Uh, if he gets up on the creep as these are hatching, normally you can just kill it. What you do is you bait with the Queen a little bit. Go ahead, move out Queen. There you go, you bait with the Queen a little bit. You want them going after the Queen, and then you just surround. There you go. This works so, so much. Uh, Protoss will be able to not overcommit those Zealots, because as soon as they lose those first Zealots, your expansion is so safe. As you see, I actually put it up like instantly as the Zealots were dying. So, uh... You see, he's obviously going to go for another strong attack with uh, Warp Gate, most likely. And sentries will probably be involved there as the two simulators are up. But basically from here, you got to be careful with exactly what you do. Uh, if you make too many Zerglings, you're not going to have a very good economy whatsoever. And you also have to be careful what you use your Queen energy on. Because Creep, I think, is really, really important on this map. You know, I'd love to creep all the way up to here. It really helps with dealing with the Protoss Harass so, so much. And I like to creep out in front as well. Just creep everywhere, basically. You know, Zerglings with speed on creep are awesome. So anyways, I have a decent amount of Zerglings at this point. Uh, you know, I had to make sure that I was safe. And I'm splitting them up, killing these rocks. This is the first priority that you want to kill on this map, is this set of rocks behind your expansion, so that you can defend it. Second priority would be this, so that you have either an easy third base, or sometimes I just kill both sets of rocks and expand here, so I have two ways to get to this uh, third base to defend it. So you see, with this build, I always get two queens uh, right off. You know, I want the second queen done as the hatchery's done, because you're basically just switching over into mass mass drone and creep tumors, so you really do need queens out pretty quickly here. Uh, well, this is not on the right speed. No, it is. I don't 
I can even tell watching the replay. Everything seems so much uh, slower than what I'm playing. Anyways, uh, throwing down a quick spine crawler. Um, you know, that's basically so it's, it's ready. You know, spine crawlers take forever to build. My overlord is over here watching stuff come in and knows that he's going to attack reasonably quickly, but you need at least one spine crawler when the attacks come on Kulas. Even though it can't really cover the entire area, you kind of look at what they're doing and then base your defense around the spine crawler. And you notice I am getting a second one because I'm looking at this army. It has enough sentries that you really do need the spine crawlers. You can't really stop a heavy sentry armor with armies, medium-sized chokes with just zerglings because they'll just force field you to death. So anyways, you see teched right up to the lair, uh, you know, despite all these reasons. Basically, I've just been droning, getting my gas, and I'm going to want to get a Hydra Den ASAP. I'm not even sure why that's not up yet. 